That thing you got right there, sis, that's gonna change the world, the information in there. Stop here for a minute and, and learn your nationality. Learn who you are, what you is. African American? Come over here so we can hear you. Ain't no, ain't no need us hollering back and forth down the street. Okay, we showing the brother here. Listen, we showing the brother here his nationality. Oh. Alright, so I want to deal with you, so check it out. Don't go nowhere. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Spirit of God is supposed to dwell in us. But to do that, we got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We got to do what he commanded us. He ain't gonna, uh, the Spirit of God ain't going to dwell in us if we out here in the midst of sin. Right. We got to keep God's laws. All right, when we think, oh, we got to do this, we got to do that, like it's grievous, like it's a grievous thing, like it's a bad thing, we got to get uh, keep God's laws. It's a good thing that we keep God's law. That's right. He gonna put a new spirit on you. Uh, all right, listen up. Verse seventeen. I got. If on. any man you, defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So if any man defile your temple by smoking, by putting unclean foods. By unlawful sex practices, you're defiling your temple. Him will God destroy. So if you keep smoking, what's going to happen? Eventually, you're going to get cancer. You're going to get emphysema or, or some kind of respiratory problem. What about unlawful sex practices? What's the dangers in that? HIV. HIV. That, the, the, the nail in the coffin. Once I heard about that thing, I checked my spirit. Who wants that? Who wants to die from having sex? When he gave us away, he said marriage is honorable and the bed under the file. So that's what we got to do. We got to bring marriage back into our community. Bring it out. So, sis, I said I had something for you. All right, because you're trying to run off. Give me uh, do you, you, so you, you don't know you're an Israelite yet, right? You don't know that? So come here. This is what we've been teaching our people. If you are called, if you're a so-called African-American, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Where, where's your father? Where you see your father at on that sign right there? Hmm. What tribe you from, bro? Black America. Huh? Judah. You from the tribe of Judah, just like uh, Jesus Christ, just like King Solomon. Same blood that rolled, that flowed through their veins, rolled through your veins. Who you is, sis? Let's let's find out. But that's what we're gonna show you. So your 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 father's a so-called African American? Or he, he says he's an Indian. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it up. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The spirit that's in this book gonna bear witness with our with our spirit that we're the children of God. Because What's, what's prophesied in this book actually happened to us. What, what, what's going on in this book, what this book say gonna happen to the children of Israel, we can look at our people, we can look at our community and say, damn, that's talking about us. You said our oppressor has taught us, taught our children, that they taught our whole nation what we know now. So let me ask you something, let me ask you this question. Did you know that up until like 1968, 1970, women never wore pants? So that was a custom ushered in by who? Huh? Yeah, it was a it was a different different church. So you know you know church church. Church. Now you going too you going too far back. In the seventies. So listen, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you a, 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 a law that was given to our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites, God's chosen people. All right, listen up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five: The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the woman sh shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. You're an intelligent sister. What is that going into? Plain and simple. Pants. And up until this 1968, 1970, our women never wore that stuff. Until 
the so-called white woman started her uh, liberation movement, her finish, uh, uh, feminist movements, her women's suffrage movements, and pulled our sister into that nonsense. We were fighting a whole nother battle. We were marching, trying to get some doggone equality. Jeez. We were trying to get a good school up out of here. We were trying to get a damn food and equal housing. Get some kind of rights, fighting with our brothers and sisters fighting together. And then our sisters got pulled into that nonsense. Yeah, that's so that's, that's, that's now y'all walking around breaking God's laws. So what about, sis, what about, so you got to repent. You got to change. You got to get back into your dresses and your skirts. That's what God says you must do. That's the law that was given to the Israelites. There's judgment for not doing that. Right. Give me the judgment. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed in strange apparel. So in the day of the Lord's sacrifice, when Christ comes back to cast down these doggone kingdoms that's ruling the earth now and set up his kingdom, he's going to punish our people that's walking around in strange apparel. So if you're a sister walking around in, in pants like a doggone man, there's punishment for that. Right. If you if you a man walking around in a doggone dress, if you ain't got your fringes on, all that strange apparel, there's punishment for that. Bring it up. And why does it call it the Lord's sacrifice? Because when he come back, he ain't playing no not nan game with nobody. Right. All right, it's called the Lord's sacrifice. Every prophet, every prophet that you read about in this Bible talk about this place in the last days getting burned with fire. So why are we gonna sit up? Why are we gonna sit up and play around? Why are we gonna sit up and dabble in our doggone sins, Jeez. smoking and drinking and, and, and drugging and carrying on? And it ain't leading us to nothing but but look, look at our community. We're getting worse and worse. But we won't snap out of it and come out, come out of our sins. We got to come out of our sins. So this is what we must do in these last days. We must gather ourselves together under God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Because don't nobody care about us but us. We got to gather up our resources. We got to take care of each other. The other nations ain't going to take care of us. They got a whole nother agenda going on. Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O nation, not desire. We got to gather ourselves together. We the nation that's not desire. I'm selling. I'm selling. We the nation that's not desire. That's bad luck. How you doing? You know that, bro? We the nation that's not desire. Because we walking around, we smitten with madness walking around, just uttering nonsense to one another. Right. We the gods of the earth. That's right. But we sitting here kicking up trash as we walk through our communities. Sis, did you know you was an Israelite according to the Bible? Come over here, let me show you. Check out our sides we got over here. Okay, well put on the put on the dress. So we the this said we the nation that's not desired. Who else gets shot down in the street like we do by the police? The, the police supposed to protect and serve the community. Right. But we getting shot down in the middle of the streets. And there's a reason why that's happening. There's a reason why that's happening. God set these nations up against us. Because we give me Deuteronomy 28 and 49. And then we're gonna go to go to that. God, God set these nations up against us because we didn't keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. So that's why these nations shooting us down in the streets. That's why that's why we we uh last hired first fire. You see what I'm saying? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the one end of the earth, even from the one end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. So remember, when we read Deuteronomy 28 and 15, Moses told us that if we don't keep God's law, statutes, and commandments, that curses are going to come upon us. This is one of the curses that came upon us. He sent the nation against us. Just like uh, like if you, you got kids. Yeah. 
So if you give your kids an order and they don't carry out your order, guess what's coming next? Uh, discipline. Discipline. Yeah, discipline. Yeah. God used the other nations to discipline us. Right. Because we didn't do what he instructed us to do. He sent the nation against us from afar. Okay? So, read on. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of fierce countenance. A nation of people who don't give a damn about us. And we're still under that nation of people right now to this day. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. Don't fall for the delusion of inclusion because they, because, because a, a few Negroes get a, get a couple jobs or they pass out a stimulus check. That same nation of fierce countenance is still reigning over us today. Read. Which shall not regard the person of the old. They don't give a damn about the old, or the old man. They don't care if you 70 years old. Nigga, get out there, pick that cotton. You better do three bales a day. If you don't, I'm whipping that back. Nor show favor to the young. Nor show favor to the young. Soon as you was out, soon as our kids was old enough to walk in slavery, they bus was out there holding a the bag for their mama to pick, put some cotton in it. Why you intend on you you intend on marrying that woman? Cause remember, she, she me. remember, she me. I, I, the, the, the 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 God marriage is honorable, yeah. and the bed undefiled. Let's read that. We not supposed to be, we, we see, and that's why our sisters should dress modestly, because you weren't thinking about that sister the, until she got past you. No, I was thinking about her when, when, when I first saw her. But what you saw? Her face. You saw her face first. You didn't see no hips. No, I saw the brood. So listen. The brood. I'm dead seeing the brood. Listen. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. This is the mindset that we got to start taking on as a people, as men. This is what's going to change our nation. We talked about making changes earlier. So listen here. Marriage is honorable in all. The honorable way to deal with a woman is to marry her. God said that's honorable because he's going to bless that. He ain't going to bless that you just trying to hit, smash, slam some cheeks real quick. He ain't going to bless that. M mess around. Leave with something you ain't go there with. You see what I'm saying? It's deadly out here. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. So to marry a married man and married woman, you can do what you want in, in the bedroom. As long as you ain't doing nothing that goes against uh, the, the marriage and sex laws. As long as you ain't doing nothing while, 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 with her while she's menstruating. As long as you don't do nothing with her while, as long as you don't try to pull another woman in there and kick off a threesome. That's, that's unlawful. But anything else, if you want to dress up as Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, that's between you and your woman. She's mine, she's mine. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Bring it out. Whoremongers and adulterers. A whoremonger is a, a, a brother that sleep with woman from woman. As soon as he sees some tail, he own it. He will what? Read. <laughs> whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. There's judgment for whoremongers and adulterers. So when you uh, approach... When you approach a sister, you you, you better be sincere. And, and you better be willing to marry her. You better be willing to straighten yourself out and keep God's commandments so that you can teach the sister the right way. We have to teach our women as men. That's right. We have to teach our women. Okay. Bus coming out. She's gone now. She's gone now. So, so listen up. I'll catch next time. Well, yeah. I'll catch you next time. I'll catch you next time. Get fed with this wisdom first. So next time, when you deal with it, you deal with it righteously. All right? You got that? Proverbs chapter 6, verse 25. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. Read that again. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart. So you said, as soon as she walked up, you seen her face. You must have got some good eyes because she was way down there. Yeah. I see prettiness. But, but, I see gorgeous when I see gorgeous. Okay. I don't, I don't worry about the body. Say, lust not after her beauty. In thine heart. In your mind, because that's where lust start. Lust start in your mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody mind. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. She took you with, your, with her eyelids. We sitting out here bringing the word of God out, and you said, hold on. You told the men of the Lord, hold on, let me go get this number real quick. You got taken by her eyelids, by her beauty. So the Bible is instructed, no, you, you can't let that happen. Y'all Israelites, according to the Bible, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're gods on this earth. That's right. Let's start acting like it. I am. 
If we if we go if we going if we supposed to be gods on this earth, let's follow the God code. Right. Let's follow these law, statutes, and the commandments. Not gang literature. These law, statutes, and commandments, and become back gods on this earth. Any more? I want to ask a question. Proverbs chapter six, verse twenty-five. Lest not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her. Neither let her take thee with her eyelids. So you're not supposed to let a, a, a female take you with 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 with, with her eyelids. Pass, you was took. I want to talk. I you wanna, you sitting ain't here? Nothing, ain't gonna ain't nothing wrong with talking. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to females. Ain't nothing right? wrong with that. But you, but, talk to females. but we can not mind right right now. We can not mind right. My mind. Okay, let, okay, okay, back, back, back. let me help you out, cause we we dealing with females. A lot of times, these females don't even respect a black man. They don't give a black man the respect he's supposed to have. They don't respect us as the gods of this earth. Okay? So listen, you understand you're supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? I know all that. So. I read the Bible. So. I read the Bible every night. So you're going to start, you're going to get in tune with the brothers that's keeping the, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. I read the Bible every night. All right, so you got to. We mentioned the cigarettes uh, or smoking, whatever it is. You got to put that down. The gods of the earth don't need a square. The gods of the earth don't don't need no gas. I be stressing, so I smoke. When I you did, I did things in my past. When, so I smoke. when you stress, you said you read the Bible. Yeah, I did stuff in my past. You read the Bible. Yeah, I read the Bible. This is what you're supposed to addict yourself to. You supposed to addict yourself to to the I did, gospel. I did stuff in my past though. Yeah, we and look at these I men that's around you. Look at the men around you. We all got past. But guess what? We came out of those paths when we applied what was written and we changed the spirit that was in us. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. So, applying what's written, that's what's so going to change that spirit. So, so can, can, can y'all let me try to come on my path? Yeah. So, listen up to this. Listen up. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. So, you're looking for peace because you did things in your past, you going through stress. Now, 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 I was just listening. Now y'all feel but now y'all want now y'all made me feel and walk off. So well no. I wanna walk off though. Let's find peace. Let's see him, let's see him. Let's find that the perfect way peace. The way y'all no, no, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna walk off. That's normally how it goes. When we tell when we bring out a law or when we bring out some discipline to check our b bad behaviors in the community, now we don't want to hear that. Now we're ready to walk off. It's not, it's not, it's not, so it's read that. So let me show you how to get perfect it's peace. Not, it's not, it's Thou will keep it's him not, in perfect bad. peace whose bad. mind is stay on thee up, because he trusts him in thee. Read that again. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stay on thee because he trusts him in thee. You're supposed to trust in the Lord first. You're supposed to build yourself up in these law, statutes, and commandments first. You're supposed to get your mind right first so you can teach a woman that you're trying to get with. We gonna get with a sister as a nigga. What we gonna do with a sister as a nigga? Leave her with a baby? Raise up a demon in there? We gotta, we gotta, that's what we trying to come out of. So, I, Lord, I hope, I hope you repent. I hope you remember the number that's on that flyer and give us a call. Get around brothers, righteous brothers so you can change your life. So you can get that perfect peace. Okay? So listen, read, read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. So in these last days, that's what's going to help us out. The wisdom and the knowledge, that's where? Right here in this book. We begin to get wisdom when we start fearing the Lord. When we start fearing the consequences for our impulses that we don't like to check. All right? Give me that. No, uh, we got to start checking our behaviors in our community. We got to start checking our impulse to sin. We got to come back to our law, statutes, and commandments as the children of Israel because that's who we are. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the ch children of Israel according to the Bible. That's right. All right? Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you must begin to fear the Lord again. That's when you begin, begin to get wise. Because when you fear the Lord, you ain't going to kill your brother. When you fear the, the, fear the Lord, you ain't going to sell drugs to your people. 
When you fear the Lord, you're going to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You're going to enforce righteousness in your community. That's right. Instead of watching everybody uh, in the midst of sin talking about, oh, it ain't me. That's what's going to happen when we, we, we fear the Lord. We're going to begin to get wise. Read. A good understanding have all they. A good understanding. It's going to tell us how to get a good understanding. Because we all think we got a good understanding. No, the Lord is going to tell us how to get a good understanding in his word. A Lord, the Lord is going to tell us how to get a good understanding in this life. Read. That do his commandments. Read that again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So when we do his commandments, that's how we get a good understanding. We get a good understanding how to help our people. We get a good understanding on how to fix our community. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.